Wilson Miles Black from the TV. Hello, folks. How's it going? Hi. How are you doing? Season three, we're here now. Gabrielle, you're new on the block. Talk to me about coming in and taking <laughs> on this role of Eva. Well, yes. <laughs> yes. You my said good yes. Friend, uh, yes, my good friend Octavia hit me and was like, I have a, a great role that I, I think you'll be great at. And uh, of course, I want to jump at the chance of working with Octavia. And I was a fan of the show. So I was like, let me see, like, what is this about? And then I realized the the the, the weightiness of the of the um of the subject matter. And I realized that I I as much as I wanted to do a comedy after inspection, I uh, I realized I was the best person for this job to 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 help add my lived experience um, to the role. And then you know for this right here to expand the conversation and keep it in at the at the forefront of folks' minds, so black and brown girls can never be marginalized or or to, or or be made complicit in their own abuse ever again. Yes. That's the goal. <laughs> obviously, you know, when I look at each season, it's always dark. Does that character ever smile? <laughs> no, she smiles. And, and that's the wonderful thing about life. Um, well, I can't say that because for some people, it, the, the sun never shines in, in, in their day. For me, the sun is always shining. But, you know, with life, there, there comes complications. And uh, I think that's why my family, they have the family uh, B story always. And that's kind of where you get the levity in our show is through family. Cause you know, I think that's where the levity comes yeah. from us is through family. So, but, but we try to take on, uh, you know, big, crazy uh, murder mysteries, but this season we um, turn to something uh, more meaningful uh, in that Poppy has to help find a friend's child. And what I love about it is that we do get to see the anguish that families go through when that the second they realize their child isn't where they're supposed to be. You you call the police, you try to get the news media involved, and then you get community involved. And we see all the anguish that the families go through, I feel like in a real world way. And uh, bringing the school in, you know, um, it, it, it was, it's different for me because I, I do love a good murder mystery. Um, but this felt more uh, meaningful and purposeful. Um, if you're go going to do dark work, do it so that it can allow for people to have a safe space um, for those who've encountered this. But also, the world is at the in, in the palm of your hands, so we don't <laughs> sometimes know who we're talking to on social media. You, see, you don't sometimes know that you're being groomed. So. Um, it was just a, a lot of big world um, conversations I felt that we are having in a very uh, personal way this season. Mm -hmm. What do you uh -huh. think? No, no, I, hard to agree, yes. No, I was gonna say outside of the script, how much of a deep dive did you do in terms of, you know, we, we see the stuff on TV, we see the stuff whether we're hearing about it on a podcast or reading about it, either way, you know, did you do a lot more take tackling on this role outside of what you have to read on the script. Gabrielle? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't wanna say luckily, I don't know if that's the right word, but I've been doing this work. I've been out about my own experience with sexual violence as a teenager in the Bay Area. Um, and I was on the National Advisory Committee to help uh, determine legislature around violence, sexual violence and violence against women and children. So we've been, I've been in the trenches doing this work for many years. Uh, so you bring all of that to it, um, and and to and to think for me, like I was I was raped one time, and it, it it devastated my life. It will be with me forever. I don't know if you recover in in a sense, but when you think about folks who are the victims of sex trafficking, that experience is played out over and over and over and over, day in day out. What that does to a mind of a child, what that does to a family, what that does to a community. I, you can research, but every everyone's story is is specific um, to them. But to try to encapsulate uh, some truths, some universal truths surrounding sexual violence and trafficking, uh, yeah, you have to you have to do. Um, you have to go beyond your own experience and beyond your, you know, the tip of your nose. And it's dark. It's dark work. It's um, it's incredibly triggering for a survivor, uh, but it's necessary. We all have to be okay and get 
comfortable with being uncomfortable in order to tackle and actually make a dent um, in the, the, the widespread, the global nature, the global insidious nature of human trafficking. They don't sleep, so we can't either. Exactly. Well said. Congrats on the rail. Congrats on another season. We look forward to seeing the season play out and uh, hopefully we'll talk again next season. Take care. Thank you.